Welcome to the Iron Source. I'm Scott Laurie. I'm one of the particle accelerator physicists here at ISIS. The ISIS uh, facility is a user facility for making neutrons and muons, primarily. And we use those neutrons and muons, which are subatomic particles, to uh, probe the structure of matter, what makes things do what it does. But to get a neutron and a muon is a difficult thing. We need a very big machine to do that. Um, and we choose to do that with a very large particle accelerator the size of about six football fields. And this is the very start of the accelerator. So this is um, the ion source, the, the, literally the source of ions where the particle beam comes from. So we have a linear accelerator up to 34% the speed of light, which then injects into a synchrotron, a ring. And then that's, that ring accelerates the beam further up to 84% of the speed of light, so much closer to the speed of light. Basically, the entire accelerator, the entire particle beam that we're sending, comes from a bottle of hydrogen. To turn that hydrogen into a particle beam, you need a massive great amplifier, a big piece of equipment to turn that into a plasma, and that's the trick, really. The amount of power that we're putting into this cathode to generate the plasma is about three kilowatts, 3,000 watts. So if you imagine your kettle is a kilowatt, the amount of power that you need to heat up your your cup of tea in a kettle is a kilowatt. Um, if you have three kettles and you squash them down to something the size of your fingertip, that's get, giving you an idea of how much power there is in this thing. It's a very, very high power. And because of that, even though we make our iron source out of molybdenum, which is a material on, on the periodic table that is the, you know, the toughest, strongest material, so it can survive this plasma eating away at it, it still gets eaten away. It gets, it gets all lumpy and eroded and, and nasty, which means our iron source at the moment only lasts about two, two or three weeks or so. So what, we, what I'm uh, project managing is a new project to make a completely different technology iron source that runs with a different power supply, different amplifier, completely different. So here we are in a different building of ISIS where we're building up our equipment so we can test our new RF iron source. This new iron source, hopefully, should just turn on like a light bulb and last forever. Or, you know, certainly, we're aiming for a year minimum, but there shouldn't be anything that gets eaten away by the plasma. It shouldn't erode or sputter or get damaged. So it, it should just run and run and run. And that'll be a really big game-changing piece of more reliable technology for our machine. 